Hey guys, I'm going to make the video that you probably wish that you watched before buying MetaZoo cards and going into the MetaZoo hype. New card games are incredibly dangerous. I don't promote new card games on this channel. Uh, either the card games have been dead, like Fire Emblem Cypher, MetaZoo, or not MetaZoo, MetaX, or Inuyasha. These games have been dead for some period of time. And I don't think there's any pump or dump you can do on a dead card game. Just see MetaZoo. There's just not that audience, right? Um, I do open cards that I enjoy. Uh, but I don't tell you to invest in those cards. Unless they are dual lands, reserve lists, high end, power nine, and so on. Because I do feel like they are a way to diversify. Only if you are in a similar financial situation as me. My home is paid off. It's uh, close to a $600,000 home, according to the government. It's $560,000, $570,000. They want a tax on it, completely paid off, no mortgage. My Lexus sports car is paid off. Again, no car loans. I don't have a single business loan. I don't have any student loans. I have a lot of money in my bank account. I have over seven figures of collectibles and another over seven figures of real estate plus stocks, bonds, and so on. So I don't really need to put more money into real estate. I don't really need to put more money into my 401k. These are things that you absolutely need to max out before you consider your collectible hobby as a, especially cards and a new card game as an investment. Um, this is the video that you probably wish that you watched. Um, make If you invest in any new card game, Disney Locana, it's hot. Elsa, I have a PSA 9 uh, Elsa Enchanted. It cost $1,000 from a guy local. I like it. Um, if you want to do One Piece, you want to do Digimon, you want to do Weiss, you want to do any of these new card games, I treat it as crypto, which is an alternative asset that you must be okay going to zero with. It is a complete gamble. Meaning you cannot put all your eggs in that one basket. Even as a, as far as collectibles go, many card games, they come and go, right? I just listed three dead card games that I love that came and went. In fact, two of them, Meta X and um, the Fire Emblem Cypher, by the time I found out about them, they were already dead. They, they had been dead for multiple years, for four, uh, Fire Emblem Cypher for two years, Meta X for four years. And Inuyasha has been dead for 20 plus years now. So it's been quite a bit of time since I started, I bought, I bought that set. So understand this, that this is not a good investment for 99% of people. What they need to invest in is real estate, stocks, something like that. And then they need to have enough money in an emergency fund that they don't have to get out of the stock market at the low, that they have this other fund that they can dip into should an emergency arise. So not in, in addition to all these other better investments out there, um, you need an emergency fund. That way you don't have to withdraw from these better investments when the time is low, when people need money, right? That, that's basically how people get screwed in stocks, bonds, and real estate is they sell for pennies on the dollar because maybe a medical emergency, God forbid, knock on wood for that, or some other family-related circumstances or even personal circumstances that, that hit you with like, you know, this much money, right? Maybe a lawsuit. So beyond all of this, um, one thing that I, I want to just make it very clear is you have to be okay. If you go to the casino... You have to be okay with what your pain tolerance is. If you go to the casino of $1,000 and you lose $1,000, you have to accept that. Do not go to a casino of $1,000 then withdraw another $10,000 to cover your losses. That is how people go broke. That's how people go to financial trouble. You're not investing in a blue chip stock like Apple. You're not investing in a real estate, right, where land is valuable. You're investing in a new card game that can go to zero anytime the creator of the card game, in this case, Michael Dell, has a panic attack. As soon as this guy gets a panic attack and he sells a stock and he's raging online, 
the, the, the thing goes to zero, right? And that's exactly what happened here. As soon as the MetaZoo superiors decide to dump this stuff in the dumpster, I mean, it's going to zero. You have to understand there are many variables completely outside of your control that there's no standard. So if you invest in Tesla or Apple or Google, every they have monthly earnings, they have to address the stockholders, the numbers have to be audited by accounting firms and so on. They're publicly traded and publicly listed. If somebody makes a boo-boo, they're going to jail. You know, they go into jail. If somebody makes a boo-boo at MetaZoo, uh, fine. Like, who cares? It's gone. You know, we took our money and we left. Right? There's no one responsible. Like, think about the MetaZoo, how much money it owes, it, and the diversity of the money it owes. According to Alpha Investment, it owes him some promos. So Alpha Investment believes that he's a victim and he's owed some of the Rudy promos. Um, the player has still not been paid, even though there's been multiple updates. So uh, we want to pay the player and so on. It's still never been paid, right? I mean, that kind of sucks that you enter. And people would call that a scam. TCG Con is exactly the same thing. They held these huge tournaments and they didn't pay nobody. And then they filed and they said, oh, well, we're not having any more TCG Cons, just like MetaZoo. So if you think TCG Con is a scam, which a lot of people do, then how is MetaZoo not a scam when it has played this exact same scenario out? Or pre-orders. There are pre-orders. I mean, when you think about pre-orders, right? Somebody, how far in advance do you pay? Well, you would hope that you would get the product before you can not charge back, which typically is six months, but they, they've been waiting for these products for over a year now. The native streamer kit, the Valentine's kit, there's been products out there, multiple of them, the most famous being the native streamer kit that these people paid $100 for. They have every right to act, to have that streamer kit. And I don't really understand, like, and now they're dumping product. Could that product be used to give to these streamers or the, to the people who ordered the kit and say, hey, you know what, um, we don't have that product in stock. But we want to make sure that you know that you're made as whole as possible. Let's give you some of that, or maybe the MetaZoo winner, you know, to pay off that. So I, I'm very confused. But but then that's what I'm saying. You don't have the power to control stupid when it comes to new card games. New card games, they're going to do stupid things because they're new. So unless you're happy with it going to, unless you are. When you walk into the casino, it's a mother effing casino. When you buy into a new card game as an investment, it's a mother effing new card game. Those go belly up every Argent Saga, uh, Dragonborn. I mean, there are plenty of deleted Rudy videos that I have been made aware of where he was pushing things like Argent Saga and uh, Force of Will and other things and that you would never expect. And MetaZoo... Uh, is a little different because his face is plastered all, uh, so it's kind of harder for him to disassociate. I think he's learned that mistake, and now his sorcery promo um, is not uh, himself. So he can always say, oh, that's not me. Anyway, <laughs> guys.